yes, it's the cable. Do you see that? Do you see that? Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Make IT Possible. Thank you for watching guys. So today, I'm going to share with you um, this old same um, gaming massage chair, Utron. Um, I've been using it for almost two months. So I'll be telling you the three things I love about this chair and three things I hate about it. Let's get it. The first thing is, um, I've never experienced myself with a, a chair with a Bluetooth speakers. I thought it is something that is good to have, but uh, w once you have it, you really feel the, uh, the convenience, especially when you're doing massage or you're, you're trying to relax or listen to something, you know. So in this chair, yes, the Bluetooth speakers, it works very, very, very stable, okay? So, um, let's check out. The quality of the sound is not that good, but it's enough, especially um, from simple sound, that, I mean like the sound that you want to hear. Have you heard of this song? Start up, break now, wait. So that's one. Second, of course, it's the massage function, okay? So this massage function, um, it's, it's really on point for me because um, there, there has this manual program, you know, that is a press grip, rolling and topping. After being using for almost two months, I hardly use the auto program. So the auto program is like, uh, you have the shoulder and neck, lumbar, and the shoulder and neck plus lumbar program, okay? But uh, I don't really use that. I tried this on. Each program will actually last you like 15 or 20 minutes. So I just use the manual one. And I, I mostly use the press and grip and the spot here that is up and down. So I usually tune it up to my shoulder and neck. So, and my back here. I mostly do is on my shoulder part, okay? So I use the manual one. The manual one is really um, on point, uh, on the position that you re you want to massage, okay? But one thing is, it doesn't have the, uh, the, the hardness of it. It's actually pretty basic, but it's good for me, okay? Um, especially for the size of me, okay? And uh, by the way, I, my height is 172. I'm about uh, 90 plus kg and these things just fit me okay, okay. Not the best, but okay and it's not too bad, all right? Third thing that I like about this chair is this, the back pouch. It's actually a memory form. You see that guy? It's a memory form, so it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. I think this is one of the uh, a, a quality one that I've tried. Even the uh, the back, the hip pillow, is very very nice. And this thing is adjustable. You can you know depends on your height. Usually I use this height. So that's the good part. Now the bad things and I hate 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 about this chair is so the f the first thing I don't like about this chair is. The thickness of this cushion, yes, it's, it's kind of comfort like you have this feeling sitting on a sofa, you know. But when you are, like for me, when I'm working, I want it to be like not too comfy about, you know, the chair that I'm sitting because it's too relaxed for me. So, and, and it's thick and like after an hour, it starts to get hot. All right, because this this is like the you know the synthetic leather, the PU quality, okay. And yep, uh, for for me, I might prefer 
the fa fabric type okay so that's one second is the uh, if you re this chair you have the seat with this back pillow and the head pillow or else or else you won't get a comfort back here okay you have to sit with that because this thing is like you know because of the massage component here you have to go through these things then you only can feel the massage but in terms of sitting on it without the back pillow and the neck pillow the the, the head pillow no it doesn't feel good at all <laughs> so you, you really have to sit with this and you have to combo with this no choice you have to stick with this okay now the final thing i hate about this chair is the third thing i hate the most all right oh, oh yes it's the cable do you see that do you see that the cable whenever that i try to roll you know with roll the chair to a different place it cross the cable every time i don't think it's good that the cable is always being crossed over by, by my chair and I don't think this wire will last if I keep doing this so what I'm doing is I only connect this cable when I need the massage function so it's like a kind of manual way now which I don't like it I have to plug this cable whenever that I need to do my massage okay so uh, same goes to the Bluetooth speaker you have to connect this so it's like imagine you you, you are listening to the, the to the music or you know uh, when you are working you have to be very careful on this I have checked it doesn't have any place like you know the cable management to hide it or anyway I don't get a way to do this okay if you guys found a way do share with me so this is the worst one these are the things that I don't like about this chair okay uh, last things that I want to share with you is the bottom so you can see this is the ruler and yep it's pretty basic it's a bit plasticky I hope these things will hold uh, me for years okay and yep you can see the quality of this everything is in plastic is in hard plastic and yeah not, not, uh, nothing special built at the bottom it's quite neat you know yep it's pretty basic uh, with a neat zip okay and that's the covers that's at the bottom wheel uh, of this chair so you guys can judge uh, from the videos uh, that, that I show you uh, whether it is a um, I can't comment unless I've been using this chair for like you know at least one year all right so these are the uh, the love and the hates um, from my personal point of view I love the Bluetooth speaker I love the memory form the pillow the neck and the back I love the manual massage that let me massage on point and three things I hate about this chair is you know you have to sit with this pillow love and hate and the neck pouch or else you will not be comfortable the thick cushion the wire and that is one last thing that I will need I will share with you by end of this video okay so thank you for watching guys remember to subscribe to my channel like and share to any of your friends that is you think that is relevance to them or benefits to them okay so i will see you in my next video so one last thing before i go that i hate about this osim chair that you need to get used to it is this hinge okay this is my previous gaming chair that i show you in the first uh, video and this hinge is to lower back your back seat okay so you see how much effort i need to do this i just need to pull slightly and it goes up and down okay okay it's pretty easy all right 
Okay, see that? All right. This is the old same chair. Okay, look at the hinge here. I need to pull right up here, then only I can bend down. Okay, and yes, I need this much effort up to here. And it's quite tough. Okay, so at first I'm not get used to it. I just put a little bit and I just, it give me the cr crack sound, you know. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god, if I don't put it fully. Okay, so yep, this you have to get used to it. Pull right up. It's like you're doing exercise. <laughs>